Hey, what's up guys? This is Marky from Mark Graphics Design Company and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created 100 business cards for Global Desserts Media in under 5 minutes. So what you're going to do is uh, have a template come up with a photoshop template and once you do that the next step is going to microsoft excel whereby you will come up with a list of names uh, these are not uh, names of uh, real people i generated them using a from a certain website and uh, you can check for the link under the description so after you've written your 100 names you're going to save them and then you will link them in your data set in Adobe Photoshop so that you can use it to generate the 100 business cards. So as you can see, I have, it's going up to 101 because the first one is the column heading. So there are few things to note. When you setting, when you're coming up with your data, make sure that the column heading is clear and you don't forget it because you will use it somewhere and then write your names in this manner you can have a column for first name another one for second name but if you don't have a, it's not every time that you have to do all that you can have them under one column name and then you write uh, your names in this in this order and make sure that uh, you're not leaving blank spaces in between the names so let's save this file go to file save us and uh, choose your folder and save as uh, any name name of your choice then go to you can save it uh, save you you should save it as text tab delimited so that it should be compatible with adobe adobe photoshop and once you done close this because if you leave it open it it's not going to work so the next thing that you're going to do after that is defining variables so go to image variables and define what you're doing is text replacement so check this option make sure that you tick text replacement and then the layer that uh, contains the name which should be changed in each of the business cards is this layer I've, I've given it the, the title of name and now uh, under text replacement you have this option where you entering the name so what we are changing you enter the column what you're changing is the name here but uh, in this place you're going to enter the column heading which in this case is the name the column heading in your excel document is what you're going to enter here write it in a lower case write it in lower case and then move to the next step so you can preview your work you can see that the names are are changing so that is what will be will be happening so click next and uh, yeah we're done just apply the settings and hit OK. So once you've done that, let me just open the folder for you. So as you can see, in my folder here, uh, working with variables, I have only one Photoshop document, one PNG file, two text documents, and one Excel document. So let's go back to Adobe Photoshop and now we want to to generate 100 business cards using the data which we fed into photoshop so you go to file export and under the export option you go to export data sets as files data sets as files so we want to export all data sets and then we want to select the folder where the documents will be saved so go to your folder working with variables this is the folder which you are going to use all through make sure that you're saving your work in the same folder 
So there's, there's, there's um, something that I should have mentioned when we were defining the data set, there was that option for under naming where we have used first column for data set names or replace existing data sets. So the best thing you can do, you can see the sample name here is uh, Lucia Potiti, something of the sort. We have a uh, Photoshop determining the name because we, we told Photoshop to use the first column for data set names. So Photoshop will read from the first column and that will be the name of your of your file. So each file will be named accordingly. But in an event where maybe you use replace existing data set, it may just name it as a data set one, data set two. So let's uh, work with uh, using the first column for data set in this in this project for data set names so we, we said we're exporting all data sets you don't have to change anything here so we're first exporting as psd and in case you want your files to be compatible with mac you make sure that you you take this one now but right now we don't need this we only need windows and because i'm on windows os it's uh, already checked by by default so with all these uh, defined, hit OK. And once you hit OK, Photoshop is going to save this work for you. I'm not fast forwarding this video so you can see how fast this is happening. And when I was preparing this tutorial, I did it and uh, I did time myself and it, it took roughly 42 seconds and 35 milliseconds to to like save the 100 business cards into psd files so that is really fast so remember to come up with a template and write your names in a microsoft excel and save it as a text tab delimited that will be compatible with photoshop and also remember to write your column heading in the lower case that will be easy for you to work with so let's see how many we have let's go to our folder right here there we go 86 so we created 86 new new items i, I might have uh, omitted some files which is which is okay i might have omitted some names but that is still okay there's no harm with that so the next thing that you're going to do is export them into images export them into images so we're going to file oh um, hmm. and then go to scripts image processor in image processor, we're going to select the same folder which is working with variables. It's already selected and hit OK. The same folder where you save the PSD files, just uh, select the same same folder. Don't change anything. Option two, save in same location. You don't have to change that. Then file type, you can uh, save as a JPEG. You can define the quality right here. Uh, you, if you also want to save as PSD, but because we've, we've done this, you don't have to do it again. So, yeah, actually, there's nothing we are changing here. We are only selecting the folder and hit run. So this may take uh, more time than uh, it took for us to save the Photoshop files. So let's just wait for, for each load yeah yeah i i don't want to, to fast forward this i just want you to see like everything how it's working and so that you can also see the end result so if we open our folder working with variables you will see that a new folder has been created for the image files photoshop has created an extra folder for the image files so if you open this folder you will see that uh, we already have 16 of them 
and as photoshop is saving each one of them they are being updated and saved in this folder so you can see this is happening in real time photoshop is processing the data as as you can see here changing the names and all that and uh the files are being saved in a separate folder so that makes you work so easy in adobe photoshop you don't have to do 1000 business cards designing one after the other so set a good template in photoshop come up with a data set a list of your names in a microsoft excel save them save save your data as a text document tab delimited and then define data set in a adobe photoshop and once you've defined your data set you can now uh, go to the option for for exporting your data set as as files and save as psd and then you can also generate images using uh, the data that we've already fed in adobe photoshop to create these images that's what is happening right here and we said when you go with the option for using the first column for data set names i, I believe you're able to see uh the first one is Alfred Holson, Alex Clones, Alice uh, Sinsid. So each file is being named differently according to the name that uh, we have in that particular column. So we are using the Photoshop is using the first column to name your business cards. So you will not have to struggle looking for them because it will do all that work for you so this is really awesome so you saw how fast photoshop saved the psd files and now we are processing the image image files i set it to a lower quality so that i can save on time uh, you can change that to a higher quality when exporting after set, defining your folder for the images you can now uh, go to setting the file quality and then maybe choose a higher file quality than mine and that will serve you well so uh i'm really happy that you've watched this tutorial and i believe that it's been of help to you so if there's any question concerning text replacement in adobe photoshop you can now uh, post it under the comments section and uh, i'll be able to to answer it maybe in the in the coming video and also because in in the next tutorial i want to do visibility control if you have a company or uh, a, any in any brand and maybe you want uh, me to do to design something for you let's say something like uh, a certificate maybe you have you want to reward the best employee you can send your your application to me design with marky at gmail.com tell me your company name what you want to do we'll talk more from there just give me every detail so that i can also use uh, your your company name and uh, maybe information in my next video where i'll be showing how to do visibility control so let's say you're giving business cards and or uh, award certificates to different people and one is showing that this person was the best employee maybe in that uh, particular year so write to me and uh, we'll get in touch so you can see photoshop has done a nice job for us as i said i saved mine in a low quality to save on space and also time but that's how we go about it and i know i believe that you've really learned a lot from today's video so keep designing keep designing keep learning and also remember to share with other people thank you so much